So steelhead are listed as threatened under the Endangered Species Act, and there's been a lot of efforts made across the entire Columbia Basin trying to restore these fish, and it was, has been determined that habitat degradation is a large reason for some of the declines. So in the Clearwater River Basin, the Idaho Department of Fish and Game has decided to put their effort in the Potlatch River Basin. We think there's a lot of potential in this basin. Uh, the Potlatch River flows into the Clearwater about 15 miles upstream for the mouth. Historically, the East Fork Potlatch River used to be very productive steelhead and even salmon uh, stream. And the reason it was so productive is you had this stream that meandered through these forested landscapes. And due to past logging and grazing practices, now you have a landscape where the stream is channelized, much of the wood has been removed, and instead of a nice meandering stream that goes through a shaded timbered landscape, you have a straightened stream without a lot of streams and pools and not much shade. And so our focus now is to try to restore those historic components back into the watershed. Once we can put restoration projects on the ground to improve habitat, that's gonna create good rearing habitat for juveniles. And that's one of our primary goals is to be able to create habitat where these juveniles can rear and survive and do well before they make their way out to the ocean. The main factors limiting steelhead production in the East Fork Potlatch River are poor habitat complexity, increased summer water temperatures, and increased sediment. Juvenile steelhead require a lot of complex habitat in order to survive well. Uh, as we can see behind us here, we have like, riffles. There's a long run coming into this. There's a deep scour pool, and there's some woody debris also in the stream. Now, these are all important factors uh, that provide good habitat for juvenile steelhead to survive. One of the issues that we run into here on the East Fork of the Potlatch River is warmer water conditions, especially in the summer. And that's a result of a lot of our land use practices that have removed trees and vegetation from along the stream banks, which reduces the shade. So the other issue that we have in the East Fork is sediment. And this also stems from some of the historic land use practices that have resulted in too much sediment ending up in the stream. And specifically, we're talking about finer sediment like silt and sand which can make it difficult for the adults to spawn, and it also can suffocate the eggs, preventing them from hatching. Well, having cold, clean water is critical for all life stages of steelhead, and that's including the adults when they're spawning and for the young fish when they're rearing in the river so that they can grow up bigger and healthier to help survive the trip to the ocean. In order to address these limiting factors, the Idaho Department of Fish and Game, along with our partners, conducts stream restoration projects. In part two of this series, we'll highlight some of the methods we use to improve habitat conditions for wild steelhead in the East Fork Potlatch River.